What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Show, but back with another video, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, we we doing daily uploads all week. So we doing today? Now, first of all, um, I like doing these anime square videos. I really do. Um, and consensus say that you guys like it too, because you know these are some of my highest viewed views on the channel, even though they just kind of recent. That lets me know that basically not only do we like talking about anime, but we also like talking about anime verses. Now, first of all, this picture right here is a little bit different. You know what I'm saying? We got a lot of these different categories. You know, one was like the best sense say we did uh one was the, the, the generic like who's the strongest and who's the strongest creature and you know saying? all these ones that were you know interesting to say the least now for me this one is interesting too because these are couples these are you know which couple pictured is the last standing in a free fall in a free fall now mind you so that does play a part now i feel like this is weird to say um i'm kind of torn now i don't know if you guys know but um for all of, I, I believe for all these anime i've seen the strongest form i read the manga for i read the complete manga for fire force uh i've watched the boruto anime uh, i'm not currently caught up on the boruto manga but in case of spoilers i've seen pretty much everything there is to see um the thousand year blow war arc i've seen renji and rukia strongest and elaine and bond mind you now i just want to preface this by saying i did no research on this i just remember this all from memory uh bond and elaine i've read the manga for seven days since now this is a weird choice for me because this is kind of like a trick question i feel like because it's saying which couple picture is the last standing and i feel like my two strongest couples in this you know saying without just really further thought would be like bond and lane and fire force and i don't even a sister i think they call her. i forgot what her name is honestly she is not even really an important part in this the only reason i say fire force is because if you read the manga you know what shinra becomes um I'll dive deep in, into it in, in the manga. I mean, like in the manga terms later into the video. I don't want to spoil you just in case you don't you want to click off. I'll give you a warning. We didn't even bond the lane. Um that's an interesting couple too because it depends on when you're choosing this because they're also immortal you know what i'm saying they're immortal literally immortal so they can't die so the the, the picture kind of lies to you it's like which one's the last one standing not as the strongest but who's gonna survive the longest you know what i'm saying and i'm leaning towards them but let's actually take a look at it bro let's take a look at it now first of all um let's work it let's work it uh let's do the normal way let's do left to right look yep yeah, yeah let's do that all right, so first of all, um, we got Shinra. Shinra's abilities. Now, okay, spoiler alert for this one. Spoiler alert for Shinra. So if you haven't seen the read the manga or seen the manga or seen his forms and his abilities and stuff, um, then click off now. You know, so this is not the video for you if you're waiting to be spoiled because we gotta go all out. Now, what I'm assuming is that we're, what we're gonna do is do them at their peak. I assume. So since we're doing peak, man, we gotta do a Shinra Bansho. I think his name is called. Um, he is insanely strong. He's basically a god. He's the god of the Fire Force. World world and not only is he the god of fire first force world he actually did which i told you guys well is he actually in the manga created soul leader franchise like he created the soul leader world um the world that soul leader is from he molded the fire force world into that by getting rid of the infernals and getting all that stuff by creating a whole new power system he's basically he basically became god um even with the even without his god speed and stuff he, had, he still had like this speed feats which were insane he can run so fast he can travel through time like he's he's kind of a ridiculous character i'm not gonna lie and i feel like he's kind of underrated because a lot of people don't watch fire force and even if you did you can't get into it because of the massive fan service that they have which is very trash uh i'm not gonna lie is we it'll be definitely be one of my favorite anime had it not been for the insane amount of fan service with the one character and i don't care for it. they tried to explain it later on in the story it just did not click for me i did not like it at all uh, i'm not saying i'm not a fan of fan service it's just to me the what fire force was cooking up it was cooking up a deeper plot and it just had some of those some of the stupidest moments ever like to me it kind of i like i love fairy tale but fairy tale has never been like super super hard for me i love it i think it's an interesting show and i feel like i think the reason why i feel like that is because a lot of it is trying to be comedy through um a lot of empty fan service shots so you know i feel like if i force had that same thing now we got naruto and sakura very powerful couple in terms of like dual strength uh sakura is pretty strong in her adult age and sasuke he's pretty strong but honestly they're probably the weakest on his list i mean just in general like if we were talking about angry sasuke and maybe adult Sa sakura it'd be different but technically they weren't a couple then uh this sasuke has been nerfed to hell he's honestly very weaker but there's things to consider because there's another thing that was actually in this post um it's a free fall which means they're all fighting at the same time this is interesting because sasuke does have visual prowess he has a uh, renegon i believe here i'm not sure if they're giving him renegon or not but renegon can also transport you to another world and i don't know if that counts as you being left standing if you're out of the battle 
but he does have abilities to kind of kind of do that and i'm trying to build in a way to, to for them to be bond the lane and i'll get to why bond the lane might not be the winners in just a second but i think sakura and sasuke are a very interesting couple um i think either way it goes it's very interesting uh i think they're probably one of the weakest on this list but like i said in a free fall they have a, a lot of utility which is one something about naruto i always loved all right now we got uh bonnie lane now bonnie lane is a weird one i don't actually remember what happened to a lane like at all um i read the sequel manga. well i guess we're going to spoil i read the sequel ma manga uh to where it was at currently when i read it and it was pretty cool um bonnie lane have a son and if i'm not mistaken bond was actually made mortal because he went down if i'm remembering correctly he went down into like the underworld or something like that a purgatory and he stayed in purgatory for so such a long time it like stripped his immort immortality away but while it stripped his immortality away it made him in ridiculously strong like strong strong so he technically doesn't have immortality i don't remember Remember if Elaine lost her immortality or not? I don't remember how that actually worked, so I can't really even comment on whether Elaine is actually even able to be killed or not. I can't even remember. But for the purposes of that, we will use Bond's uh, non-immortality self because he became ridiculously strong after that. So it's important to use his peak, which I feel like that's his peak, even though his other one was like peak defensive. I think this is like just a peak in general, like him stripped of his immortality and such. All right, now so now last but not least, um, we got Renji and rukia now we, we don't really get to see them be a couple for, for very long because i think it happens at the very end of the manga for one piece uh, not one piece gosh must, must be asking for a one piece video along the horizon but uh we don't really get to see much of them to be honest um not really so it's a very interesting concept to have them here as a couple but the, the couple part don't really matter i guess it does matter for chemistry like how well you fight together i think the two highest on that would probably be probably be renji and rukia because they honestly they've been fighting together even not necessarily as a couple they've been fighting together for years like for all pretty much all their life fighting against each other fighting with each other it don't really matter um let's just not say that that's important let's just talk about rookie and Renji in general um obviously both of them have bankai releases shikai releases um Rukia just definitely has her moment to shine in the manga. I feel like Rukia herself is insanely powerful, but her ability at this point, at this current point, to me, is not really realized. So her her, her ability is kind of like a, a live thing that like she can. Um, uh, I don't really know how to say it. She can basically freeze the whole area, but it would also freeze her. So it's kind of like a double-edged sword. Um, Renji is also very powerful. You know, he's got his Abimaru with his multiple forms. I think him in general is just, just strong. Is the Bleach character are just strong in general um we won't use the exception of that their spirit so they can't they can't even be hit or whatever we won't use that because that's obviously cheating they would win every list if that's the case and only lose in very specific cases now we're gonna go ahead and get to the end of this video because it's running kind of long now first of all who we eliminated first this one is a little bit harder to me than i originally thought i would have to say shinra i love shinra and shinra because me being one of the few people who read the manga now a lot of people read the manga but at least in terms of like people i know who's read the manga they don't really know i mean the people who haven't read the manga they don't really know how strong shinra is but sister is really doing nothing to help the cause not really um shinra is a one-man army he could probably take out one of these couples on the list by himself but gotta consider the teamwork and i'm just not feeling it with uh shinra and sister now if they would use technically what might be the other couple i think they rumored another couple in uh with shinra i think he had two girlfriends or whatever if i'm not mistaken in the manga then that would have probably won it for me but i'm not gonna go there all right so we got um sakura and sasuke i i really want to eliminate them next but i feel like to me i don't know this is a good three-way tie I feel like in a free for all, like with last one standing, I think, um, honestly, I think Shinra, Shinra couldn't be touched. But I really eliminated him because Sister would be killed. Um, I think there's some way they can get to, um, Shinra maybe tell him both to another world he's insanely fast though like, he's very hard to pin down he's too much speed for Sakura he's too much speed for really Sasuke who's probably like the fastest on this list besides some of the feats, speed feats that they might have in uh Bleach but I think in Naruto they actually have ridiculous speed feats that they can dodge lightning and stuff it's ridiculous um and Sasuke who's somewhat able to keep up with Naruto he has insane speed feats at this point so so I'm gonna keep Shinra eliminated um Sasuke also has visual prowess which I think a lot of people like to 
like a dismiss because with visual prowess they feel like every other enemy character would just be able to break out of it easily because it's not naruto but it's important bro like visual prowess is like genjutsu like genjutsu is insane bro like you know what i'm saying even in any world some kind of trick with illusion or whatever is very powerful what kills me is that they do the illusion they taunt the enemies and they don't kill them i think sasuke would do the job he'll finish the job um i would have to eliminate bonnie lane for second elimination only because i know that bond is super powerful i think he's probably physically stronger than sasuke at this point ridiculously stronger but in a free fall i don't think it really matters because sasuke has utility uh i actually you know what to be honest this is actually harder for me than i thought because bond is sitting in port purgatory to me is probably uh, an insane amount of mental toughness in, in order for him to not even be affected by genjutsu that i'll give myself i think elaine is just not as good of a partner as bond i think you have to eliminate bond for the same reason i eliminate shinra and i think those are the two powerhouses on this list just because they just their partners are just not that's you know they don't have that good of a synergy so the real two for me is between um sasuke sakura rukia and renji now, I'm gonna go ahead and select the winner, man. The video's getting kind of long. I'm gonna go ahead and choose Renji and Rukia only because I feel like in a in a free for all foray, whatever you want to call it, I think Renji and Rukia have the best ideal of working together. Like I think you know they have the better combo attacks. Now Sasuke and Sakura have some mean combo attacks. Now they're they're nasty combo. But I just can't let Naruto and Sasuke get away with everything. You know what I'm saying? I try to give the point that Sasuke has the visual prowess and he has the Renegon and stuff. He has the Genjutsu and stuff, and that could actually hurt people. But in reality, um. It just seems like the bleach power scaling is just stronger than Naruto in general. Uh, at least, like, you know, I don't like Renji and Rukia taking the spot, but they are kind of the secondary characters, so they are powerful enough. I'm not as much of a hater to Sakura as some people might think, you know, as some people are, but I do, I just don't think she's able to hang with Rukia. She's strong, and I think Rukia is not as kind of the weakest in her verse, and Sakura is decent at least, but, um, I just think Sakura, I think Sakura is weaker in just the way that Naruto versus weaker than Bleach to me, uh, for them to actually win and edge out here. Now, that being said, guys, I've been completely wrong this entire video. You can correct me on it, man. Just be respectful. But with that being said, guys, we're gonna go ahead and get up out of here. You send me another anime square video. Send me something, bro. I, I would love to, to do one of these that you guys create. With that being said, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I'm out.